Ryan, the international break feels like a good time to reflect on what's gone on so far. How the team look back on those opening games? Yeah, it's been a good start. I mean, obviously, with the Man City result, it's, it's important we followed it up uh, the week after. Um, and we knew that if we could take the three points from West Ham, it would make that a good week. And we went and done that. So that, that's, that's a pleasing. And as I said, now that's turned it into a good start. But now the lads are back. Uh, we need to focus on the next coming games. And obviously, it starts with Burnley on Sunday. What does getting a win change about it? Do you sense an uh, extra level of confidence? Um, I think it's just nice to get it off your back, really. I mean, we've played well in games and we've been creating chances, been a little bit unlucky here and there. And I think it's just it's just nice to get to get it out of the way and you can it's like a monkey off your back really and you can you can forget about that now and hopefully we can go and push on and, and get more more wins that we need. Great moment to get it as well though. If you are gonna win a game and you can guarantee it, a last minute breakaway winner is a great way to do it. Yeah, definitely. I mean I'd rather be three new up going into the last sort of five minutes. But as I said, yeah, as as a feeling it's the best way to do it. And I think we've done it last year maybe a couple of times and and to say to do it there and get your first win, especially going into the national break, coming on and scoring like that is brilliant. I mean, you see everyone, the fans, the staff, it was is brilliant, yeah. Well, you know exactly that feeling that Adamo would have because your goal at Bristol City last year, that for him to get off the mark in the Premier League must have been a big moment. Definitely, as I said, and I think it adds to, the, adds to it, like you say, scoring in the last minute. I mean, when I'd done it, it's, it's a great feeling. I mean, you kind of lose, lose senses a little bit, uh, with the celebrations and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's nice for him. Um, he's been working hard in training since he came in. And I think when, when he's come on in games, he's done really well. He just adds another dimension with his pace and his power. And I think hopefully we can start to see a lot more of it. Because you mentioned the celebrations. The celebrations after the game, when that goal goes in, it shows how tight you are as a group. Everybody is involved. Definitely. I mean, I think you see by the squad size that we do have, I mean, it's something that we spoke about sort of together. Everyone's in it together and everyone has to be. I mean... It doesn't take much to sort of disrupt it if, you, if it's like that. And that's why it's important for us as lads to keep everyone together, keep everyone on their toes. And as I said, we've got, we've got a great group uh, that we've got together now. Is one of the things I like about you guys as a group is that you're willing to do lots of different things together because people might not be aware you're one of the best cricketers in the squad and you've got some of the other lads trying out cricket as well. Yeah, everyone has a go. I mean, we, we play a little bit. Obviously, it was <laughs> with this tour, actually, uh, India that um, England has just had and... We went to go and watch one of the days uh, in Birmingham and uh, we come back, we said, right, we're going to buy a little cricket set. We bought a little cricket set and as I said earlier, we, there, was, there was a few of us playing like me, John, Will, Doc and the, the other lads have embraced it. I mean, you get the foreign lads, they don't know what it is at first and they're coming over having a little bowl, having a little bat and they're coming over. So now it's, it's, turned, it's turned good. Yeah, obviously they play a lot of head tennis as well and they're a lot better than us to be honest and uh, it's not something that we can go and uh, be a lot better than them at. So are you the best cricketer in the squad? No, I don't think so. No, no, I think there's a few good players. I mean, I think Will Norris has played a bit, but I think he keeps it quiet. Do you know what I mean? He's good. He's, he's a good bat, but there's a few lads who are, who are half decent, yeah. Um, Burnley this weekend, getting back onto football. Um, what are you looking? Because is this going to be a bit different in that you'll be expected maybe to go and be the favourites in this one rather than the, some of the previous games? Yeah, maybe, yeah, but as I say, we don't really pay too much attention to that. I mean, if you probably looked at it on balance, we're probably the favourites going into the West Ham game, and uh, I say we dealt with that, but um, it's, imp it's important. We're used to that as well last year, going into every game really as favourites, and it's just another game for us now. I mean, we work, as I said, we work on the way we play every day in training, and it's just, it's just a progression of that now. And so we want to try and add little things to that and tinker little things, obviously, to go and, to go and get the result we need to against them, and hopefully we can put it together and get it on a day. And what about you personally at this stage? Because it would have been a spell in pre-season where you maybe thought, I'm, I'm not going to be starting. And, and yet you've now started every game. You are the most experienced in terms of the Premier League in the team. Is your role slightly different this year? Um, yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, don't think about it too much. But as I said, you, you're right. Sometimes in sort of obviously in pre-season with the games and stuff, it didn't look like I was going to play. Um, but, you know, things happen and, and obviously I ended up playing the games that I've played and it's good, you know, it's obviously important to keep that going. As I said, we've got a small squad, everyone's ready to come in and play and uh, we know that and um, I think it's just good for the team that we've got, we've got that sort of ability to sort of chop and change and when people do come in, they look at the calibre that's coming in, is really good and I think for me, being a more experienced player, it's, it's, it's hard, you know, like a lot of players we've got don't really have the experience in this league but some of the experiences that they've gone through with their national teams, with the teams they've been at before, probably outweighs the experience that I've got as well. So it's just it's just a different league for them. And I think 
a lot of the players were here last year kind of got used to the English mentality, the English way. They've seen a lot of the Premiership and as I said, you can tell by the way that they've taken it. They all knew what they was coming in for and they've taken it by a storm and hopefully that can, can, can continue. Because is that the beauty of the Premier League, that you can have a test like last time out at Molyneux against Man City, this time against Burnley is very different? Yeah, it, it is like that, do you know what I mean? And as I said, sometimes the easiest games to get up for are the big ones and you, know, you feel a little bit less pressure on you as well. And these games do become important. Obviously, with the one at West Ham was an important game. We obviously got the three points there and we know leading into the next run of fixtures, it'd be unbelievable to go and start that with a win and take us into the following games.